Okay, third grade, when your loom is set up, you're ready to start weaving. At your tables or at the yarn cart are these little yarn barns, and at each yarn barn, there should be a tail of the yarn sticking out. I would prefer if these yarn stay in the yarn barn. You're never opening the lid unless the tail gets stuck in the yarn barn, okay? I am measuring out a wingspan of yarn. So if you think about a bird, their wingspan is from wing to wing, and I'm cutting it off. Make sure you leave enough room for the next person to grab the tail of the yarn. I am going to start weaving on my tree, and you can choose whatever colors you would like. I just started with a nice lime green, but you may do rainbow, you might think about a fall tree, some of those warm colors, or a fresh spring tree. And I'm going to start in the bottom right, and I'm going to tie a knot, so I make a U, and an O, put the tail through the O, and pull it tight. And I always do a double knot when I tie things, especially for weaving. So a U, an O, the tail through the O, and tie it tight. Now when I weave, I do an AB pattern of under, over, under, over, under, over. So I'm going to start, and I'm gonna go under this one, over the next one, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way across, pull my thread through or my yarn through. If I pull really tight, then my branch is going to start to come over to the side. Okay, so kind of leave it a little bit loosey-goosey so that your tree stays like a tree. All right, I've come all the way to the other side, and I ended, if you can see right there, with an under. That means I need to start reverse. I need to start over, over, under, over, under, all the way across my tree. And pull it over. See how I pulled a little tight there? Leave it loosey-goosey. Comb the trees down. And I'm ready to start again. I'm going to do this until my whole tree is filled with different colors of yarn. It will look a little bit like this when I'm finished. Okay. Now what happens if I need to change colors? Okay, let's say I've woven with this green for a while and it's almost out. When I'm going to add on another color or another piece of yarn, I need to tie a knot with these two tails. So, I make an X, one goes over the top, make an O, tail goes through the O, and pull it tight. It's really similar to tying your shoes. O, tail over, and pull a knot. Okay? One more time, let's show you. I need to make an X, twist that X around, make an O, tail goes through the O, and pull it tight. And then I can keep going under, over, under, over. I like to kind of leave these tails until the very end, and once I've gotten all the way woven to the very tippy top, I can come back in and trim those tails off. I like to just leave them long in case I ever need to tie a knot again.